my name is Jess or Go Jess or most likely Go underscore JG in most places online. I do a wide variety of content, video game, tabletop role playing game, and sometimes little helpful things. You can find me on TikTok, you can find me on YouTube, but mostly you can find me streaming live on Twitch five days a week. And recently I made a little TikTok video trying to be helpful, just explaining how to easily get rid of bots. Follow botting has been quite an issue on Twitch and a lot of people seemed to need that information. So I thought I would make a bit longer form of a video here on YouTube for anyone that needs that information. So with that in mind, if you've ever had a problem with follow bots, over on Twitch, uh, as I explain in my TikTok. Of course, obviously, I should probably say the thing. Hi, please go follow me over on TikTok and also hit that sub button over here on YouTube and then maybe come check me out on Twitch. I had to say those things, you know that, right? <laughs> if you are ever follow botted, there's a few things you can do. Firstly, always take care of yourselves first. Uh, if you need to stop and take a break or end stream, absolutely do that. Your well-being comes first. But some simple things you can do is just immediately clear your chat, turn off your alerts, note the time of the issue, and then after stream, go over to Twitch Tools by Commander Root. All you got to do is Google Commander Root or Google Follower Remover. I'll also put the link down below in the YouTube description. So go ahead and head down there to find it. So just pull this up. The third option down, as you can see, is follow a remover. Just click that. You will need to log in with your Twitch account. So once you've logged in with your Twitch account, you will be able to find this filter search where you can put in that time that I told you to note down. Just put in the time, uh, the time frame. If you don't have an exact guesstimate, you can go a little larger. But if you do want to be specific, you can put a pretty specific time uh, followed between two times and, you know, put a little two minute window, a five minute window, 10 minute, whatever you think you need to do to clear out those bots. You will hit apply filter and then you can hit remove all followers listed below. When you do that, it'll also give you the option to block all of those bots as well. Pretty simple, pretty straightforward. Uh, that is Manda Root for you. The other handy dandy little tool I wanted to share with all of you was uh, Stream Deck. Uh, I'm going to show you my Stream Deck and what I do. These are things, keep in mind, that uh, if you don't have a Stream Deck, there is um, a phone app version you can use. Just pull it up on your phone and use it there. Or alternatively, a lot of these things can just be quick keys, honestly. Uh, so you can preset these as quick keys. It's just a little suggestion I find helpful. So here is my Stream Deck. Here's the starting scene I have uh, where I can go into my scenes. I can hit a button to do all my basic prep. Uh, and I have a little button here, and sadly you can't see it. It's really cute. The, the little poop actually like moves, and that's because I, I like a one a one button flush to get rid of all the shit that arrives in my channel. So this is just a little multi-action, and you can do this in a number of ways. If you click on any of the blank squares, if you right-click them, uh, you can have an option to create a multi-action. Alternatively, you can also go to the stream deck options here on the right and then just pull over a multi-action. You can see I have two buttons here and that's because I have the initial action and then I have a second button to undo because that is how I like to do it. Um, you could also, if you prefer of doing a multi-action, you could do a multi-action switch. So if you pull that over, you will see that there is uh, a one and then a two. So you can set up all the things that I did as my primary things in the one and then you can set up all the undos in the two. So for me in this button, if I click it, you can see um, there are six actions that happen when I click this button. Uh, immediately, as I mentioned, it makes a stream marker. Uh, it then mutes all alerts. It turns Twitch chat onto sub only. Um, that is something you can turn on or off depending on what you feel is necessary. It has uh, a slow chat. It slows chat down to People only being able to speak once every three to five seconds. I'm not sure which setting I have on right now. You have you have a few options you can fiddle with, and that is something that you can choose when you pull over these actions. 
Uh, it clears the chat because as you can see, trolls are boring. We don't care what they have to say. Uh, and the last thing it does is it plays ads because if uh, a bunch of people are going to show up with a bunch of garbage and bigotry and hate into my chat, I'm going to make them pay for it with ads. Thank you. So those are the actions that happen when I press that one button. Most of them, all the purple ones, as you can see, are over in my Twitch options. So you can you can use these and just drag them over and then specify what you want them to do. So here's the clear chat. Uh, here's follower chat. Here's play ads. Here's slow chat. Um, and here's sub chat. And here's stream marker. So any of those that you want, you just pull them over in whatever order you want. You can literally just move these around. For me, the mute alerts are over in uh, Streamlabs because Streamlabs is what I use for my alerts and things like that. If you use a different system, just use that system instead. And that's pretty much it for that. If we go back, um, I have the undo where it literally just uh, turns my alerts back on. It opens up sub chat back to regular chat because everyone is welcome except bigots. Uh, and then it turns slow chat off so that we have regular chat again. The ads will play themselves out after however much time you've said, one minute, two minute, three minutes. The clear chat doesn't need to be undone uh, and so on and so forth. So that's it for me. Uh, those are the things that I have in place. Those are the things that I do to try and keep my community and my spaces safe. Uh, I hope it helps. If you have any suggestions, please go ahead and comment down below. Let me know. Uh, if you have any further questions of anything you'd like to know more about, go ahead and comment down below. I'll do my best to answer everything. And uh, yeah, thanks for being here. Uh, maybe come check out some of my content and uh, stay safe out there, okay? Bye!